Hi, my name is Madeline Klein and I'm here today with Harper's Bazaar and I'm going to share some things that you might not know about me. Let's go. Stubborn, aloof, <laughs> and happy. I think, I think those are good things. <laughs> yeah, the whole experience shooting it was so fun. I mean, there wasn't much convincing Ryan had to do. Hey, want to come film a movie in Greece? <laughs> yes, I was a big fan of the first one. It was my favorite movie that I had seen in the th in theaters in a long time. It was just so so clever and witty and 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 brilliant. I I was quite honestly scared shitless and also absolutely elated to join the second. I had a rehearsal slash meeting with Ryan and Edward before we started filming at the production office. And we ran a little bit over, like we were just going through like scripts and in walks Daniel and I wasn't expecting it because I, and I hadn't mentally prepared myself. And I was, um, he was so nice. He, I mean, of course he's a sweetheart, but I was, I was really starstruck um, just then and I had to run away. I, I just wanted to absorb everything I could from them. They're generous like people as well as actors, but just like how free they all are. We're here to, to play, create, and have fun, and, and that's exactly what we did. You know, I, I'm working on a show called Outer Banks. I think booking that one has really changed a lot. It, when it shoots in my hometown as well, so it, it, it feels, it's very close to home. It's strange um, of all of all the, the shows, I booked the one that led me back home. Um, so, and at first I wasn't really stoked about it, but now I think it's fun. I've been given advice, but honestly, I think like the, the what I respond to more is like watching the people that I admire operate. I really admire Catherine. Just the way she like walks through everything and doesn't take anything seriously. She just has a blast. I'm a simple person. I, I love a good dinner party um, with a few friends. I love a glass of wine with ice in it. I mean, I know that's bad, but it sounds so good right now. What makes me happy is doing whatever I want. <laughs> and go, go do whatever you feel, whatever your impulse is, go do it. It's fun, go live. You know, it's, it's fun to go live and, and, and enjoy things and experience things. And if you wanna experience the couch, go sit on the fucking couch with your wine. <laughs> I, I can't have a temper. I think I'm very patient, but like once I'm pushed to a certain point, I then I'm just like mad. I think like being talked over, I think is being lied to. I hate being interrupted. I hate being hung up on. That really makes me mad. And I don't know why, but it just does. Gimme, gimme, gimme by ABBA. ABBA is like a personality trait at this point. I am violently addicted to TikTok. Well, you know, it's, it's like one of those things where I'm like, okay, 15 minutes and then I'm scrolling and then all of a sudden I look at the clock and it's been, you know, 30 or 45 sitting there like, like for 45 minutes doing absolutely nothing, but I can't stop. <laughs> I don't know, see, even like canceling plans, like you don't like, I don't know, have the mental capacity to do something and you have the ability to like put yourself first, do that, self-care. My Nana sent me $20 when I first moved to LA because she thought I had no money and that I was starving. Um, and it was really, really sweet. And I think that was my favorite thing because of course like I had, I, I had enough money to go to the grocery store and I called I called her and I said, Nana, thank you so much. And she said, don't tell your mom and dad, this will be our little secret. And I was like, okay, <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. My favorite book is actually, it is this epic poem and it's called Evangeline. I read it for the first time when I was in high school and I just thought it was so beautiful. And I was also studying French in high school. And so I took it upon myself to like, read it in French as well, or like make it a goal to read it in French. And now that I'm thinking about it, like the best gift I've ever received, like actually the most thoughtful gift um, was a first edition copy of it. And it had, it's like 
dark green and you open the book and there's like, you know, drawings. It's just stunning. So best gift and favorite book. Same advice I would give my older self is like stop worrying so much about what others think. I also just worry too much. Thank you guys for watching um, and I hope you learned a little bit more about me. Don't forget to catch Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery on Netflix.